So here I have uh, a list of items and their prices. Item 1, for example, is a red pair of shoes, um, cost of £1, and the supplier is AAA. Um, I have 15 items, and this is the 2014 list. Um, so I've produced a new list for 2015, which is here on sheet 2, on the next sheet. Um, but this list, uh, unfortunately, omits all the suppliers. Um, and also has an extra item, item number 16. So to complete this list I need to to fill in the suppliers. So what I could do in a, in a manual way is I could go back to the previous list, see that item 1 is AAA, go back to my new list and type AAA. And there we have. But let's consider this list could be many many items, there's lots of potential for errors if I do it this way and it would take a long time. So I can use um, a function called VLOOKUP. So what VLOOKUP does is it looks up information from other areas, from other tables, from other lists, and pulls information in from that list into your, your new list. Um, or at least that's the use that we're using it for today. Um, so for example, I know that I have a common reference point with the item numbers. Here they are, and the same item numbers here. So I can use VLOOKUP in the following way. So if I, first of all, equals VLOOKUP. That's my function name. Let's start the function, so open up a bracket. And the first piece of information it needs is the lookup value. So I'd like to look up this item number. The next piece of information is something called the table array or in our case we'll just call it the list. So I'm saying I want to find item 1 in another list. I want to find it in this list so I'll select all of that list. I'm just going to make that absolute references so that we select absolutely that list every time and the list doesn't move if we copy and paste in any way. So I'll just put absolute referencing around that, the dollar signs, comma. So after that piece of information put in a comma and the next piece of information is the column index number. So I know on this first list here that it's a six column list and the information I want to pull from this list is in column six. So all I need to put here is a six. Column 6. And finally, I have a true or false statement to put in, and I'm going to put in false here. I want to find item number 1 exactly, not 1.1 or 1.2. I want to find item 1 exactly, so it's got to be an exact match what I'm looking for. So I'll type in here, or to put in false. So we can finish our VLOOKUP with a bracket, press return. And you'll see that it's pulled in all of that function, VLOOKUP function, has pulled in the supplier. So I can quickly copy that down. And we can complete all the suppliers for all the items. Just notice here, just notice here that because this is a new item, it's tried to look for item 16 in the previous list and it can't find it. So it's saying it. It's given us an error saying, look, there's a problem, I can't find item 16. Not applicable. So we can actually use another little function, if error function, just to make use of that error. So for example, if I go equals if error, like I say, so the first argument it's asking for is the value. So if this value here is an error, then I might want to flag this up as new item. I just copy that to here. Notice it's not an error, so it just returns the original answer. So we can make use of that. I can actually take our original VLOOKUP function and put at the front of that if error. So there's the if error function. So if all of this produces an error, let me finish that with a comma. If 
all of this produces an error, then instead of the error, I would like new item to be returned. So it was an error, so it carries on with the, the original lookup value of AA. If I copy that down, you should see that our error here gets, gets changed. So in summary, uh, if, you're, if you have two lists, one of the lists with incomplete, incomplete data, and you need to, you, you can use the other list to pull in information to complete your new list. Uh, we completed the supplier column. And to pull in information from previous lists uh, with common referenced items, we can use the VLOOKUP function. And the VLOOKUP function needs what are you looking for, what's the table you're looking or the list you're looking in, which column has the answer in, and do you want to find an exact or close match, false for an exact match. So we use VLOOKUP to pull in that information, but we also put in front of that if error, if all of that produced an error because it couldn't find the item you're looking for, we can replace the error uh, value with this value, new item, or anything else you'd like to write. So to pull in information from a previous list into a new list, we can use VLOOKUP function.